What is up, guys? This is D Rock over at 2.0 with my very first war recap um, sh showcase in 2.0. So, very excited to be given the privilege to come over here and do this. Uh, for my very first video, I'm doing a little bit more than I usually would. I'm going to keep it usually to three or four videos per war, but I'm going to give you five this time. We've got three Lalos and two Gohos. Um, also, a Town Hall 10 three star from. Uh, our buddy Maverick, so I'm going to show that one first. Um, this base is a, a tad rushed, as you can see, um, but it does have the level 3 Expos, it has the max Wizard Towers, um, it has level 2 multi-targeted uh, multi Inferno. So still, um, anytime you can get uh, a 3 star at Town Hall 10, you're doing something right, so I'll show those as much as possible, as much as we get the uh, content. But anyways, the golems go in. The, uh, the now the clan castle troops are coming out. Interestingly enough, there's a wall breaker in there, but uh, he uses the poison so that terrorist cannot get a chance to do the suicide mission. Um, so the king went in. He's doing a lot of work because he is a level forty after all. So he's just tanking and crushing everything in its wake. Um, the queen is already taken out. Oh, the kill squad has already taken out um, an air defense, so now she's going to work on getting that uh, one Inferno and the Wizard Tower down. She uses her ability, and she's going to lock on to the Inferno. So that goes down. Now it's time for the Lalo. He's going to work counterclockwise around the base. Nice and patient here, and great placement on his rages, forcing everything into the air defense rather than over the air defense. A lot of times I see... Uh, mistakes by by members that just put the the rage over the, the air defense but really it's all about the pathing and getting the balloons into the air defense as quickly as possible that uh that freeze was perfectly placed it allowed his balloons to get into it and take it down quickly um maybe a little bit early on that last rage because he does still have a pound at the end of his raid that does not pop so you know always be conscious about what, where you're at in your raid uh, because it's possible that you were so good that you need to suck more um, you know as much as we want to suck less sometimes we got to suck more because those hounds are just have too much health so if you want to save it for cleanup that's always a possibility i'm no lalo expert i'm trying to get my, my skill set up um, but anyways nice attack maverick keep it going buddy all right so the next attack we're going to show the Clackinator on, click it out, click the Clack, Clackinator is his other attack, uh, with a beautiful, another Lalo, um, and the reason that this was a great one is because it was just a CB Lalo. Uh, he cheaply gets the, the first part of the funnel to the left, uh, with a couple minions there, because there's no, nothing going to hit those up there. Uh, brings one Golem, a couple Wizards to you know, create that funnel. Nicely placed a jump for the Golem to continue on, and very patient with his king as well. So he already used a jump and a rage. Uh, so a pretty big investment there, but he wanted to make sure that that queen and the CC went down, especially with that dragon in there. So the Golem's dead at this point, but so is the queen, and now the king is going to be taking some fire from the dragon, but the queen is raged up, and she is going to take him down no problem. Now he actually takes out two... Expos, I believe, yeah. Um, and then it's on to the Lalo. So he's starting in with two hounds very patiently. And the great thing about this raid is that he showcases all of the Lalo part is just on haste. So he knows he's got two balloons per defense. And he is just trying to speed those boys up into the air defense and not even worry about the raid because um, he can bring so many more spells with just haste. Um, the one thing, just like the last raid with Maverick, is that he was so good and these hates were so effective that he had three, I believe, three hounds at the end of this raid that were not popped. You know, granted, those expos were pointed down, so um, that's partly a factor. But regardless of those expos or not, look how many balloons he has. He has so many hounds left, and he's going to end up using the haste on cleanup because, you know, what else are you going to use it for? Um, so. You know, that could have been better, but at the same time, it's like we're playing around with these spells, and you know sometimes they're so effective and they over per, uh, overperform than what we think that they're going to do. So three hounds not popped at the end of the raid with only 
five haste and no rages for the lava part. I mean, that, that's something to keep an eye on. Um, anyways, so very nice attack, Clack. Keep it going, buddy. Um, the next attack is from our fearless leader, Chief Kev, and he is back in action. He's just been getting back into the war scene, um, but he's proving these. So this is a um, cleanup attack, so he just triggers those um, pestles with two barbs, and he comes with a shattered from about 5 to 4 o'clock. So he has his nice spread on the golems, the offset wall breakers to make sure that no splash damage will be coming at them. As they, the funnel is getting created and those golems are moving forward, he places his jump down. And as soon as that cannon goes down, he's going to place his kin. So he's making sure that his golems um, are taking as much fire instead of his kin as possible. Because at the end of the day, he wants the king to get into that queen and just take her, uh, take her to town. Get your minds out of the game, I guess. Um, but at this point, he's you know he's got the queen in the core. She's taking out the expo. He uses his ability to you know power her up a little bit and take out some more buildings and also the clan castle troops. But chief knows that's to be taken uh, uh, taken care of with that beastly level thirty queen. So he starts with the clockwise uh, hog deployment. Really nice and patient on these troop deployment and oh, I hold on a second. Um, and then, oh, got it. okay, I'm going to make this quick then. Um, so he's still going with the counterclockwise motion and he's keeping his hogs healed the entire time. The queen is still alive, banging on that town hall. She's going to go down here pretty soon, but he still has another heal. Look how many he uh, hogs he has left. I think that's, you know, about 20 plus. So, um, you know. Just at the end of the day, wreck this base. He has Wiz on the back end cleaning up and just too many hogs at this point. Um, so <laughs> it's funny. They're doing the warships right now, and I got to get over there so I don't miss it. Um, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to pause this, and then I'm going to continue in a moment. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, all right. So we have two final attacks to show. Um, one is from our buddy Dingus, and he is doing a Lala. Really loved this attack overall. It was very smooth. But the reason why I chose the base was because, you know, a lot of these bases were foreign bases, were symmetrical, were had a anti two star type concepts. So anytime you see this offset base, it, you know, it's at, le at least it's going to be a little bit challenging, something that we're not used to. Um, so that's why I decided to show it. And I thought it was a very nice, smooth attack as well. So he comes with a shattered from about six o'clock. And he has a couple wizards going down to create that funnel. Cheaply gets those. Anytime you can get those cheap minion uh, funnel breaks, use them. Because why use the min uh, the wizard when you can just use two, two space? Uh, brings his wall breakers in. His golems are going to start heading in. Um, probably didn't need that wizard down there because he just got sacrificed to that cannon. Um, but again, very patient. That's one thing I notice when I'm over here. They're very patient with their king drop, which is important. You don't want those kings to get in front of their golems. So uh, poison goes down. Now he's just pushing his king. He's raged up, so he's moving fast in there. Um, golems are being tanking as well. The queen is now getting engaged by the king. He rages up the king, takes out a couple more defenses, and the enemy king. And the queen is still up doing her thing. So at this point, he's not even going to wait until to see what happens. Because he knows what's going to happen. So he starts with the Lalo. Um, two hounds going in from different angles to soak up any traps that come in on him. Excellently rages those balloons that he know are going to travel into the air defense. Same thing with the loons and the rage on the 1 o'clock region. Um, just pushing those balloons into the air defense, making sure that it goes down as quickly as possible so the balloons can save face. No more air defenses left at this point, but he still has a hound left, and it's not going to make a difference because he still has a loon, or three loons. One goes for that cannon, and then he's going to save two for the cleanup, so at this point you guys know what's going to happen, and it's just balloon smashing time. Queen is still doing work. I don't think she's going to hit this entire raid because she's too pretty. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be clean up. And boom goes the dynamite. Great job, Dingus. Alright, so we got one more. And it is Oki on 20. Um, 
really cool tag. I, I love the planning that went into it. A different base, you know, um, obviously a lot of point defense on the outside. Too, so Dingus takes advantage of it. Pretty expensive lure here. Um, I believe it was like three, uh, six hogs and a giant. He probably could have got away with five or six hogs and didn't even need that giant. But um, the rest of his troops were enough to take care of the job. So anyways, he gets the lure, takes out that entire section. So that's nice. And he gets a bomb trigger. Two witches go down. Um, normal stuff. He wants to push into that base and eventually get the queen with the golem and his king tanking. So that dragon is going to take a little while. I'm going to fast forward here. Two golems goes down. Queen's already engaging with that dragon. She's going to be raged up and going to take him out quickly. Um, as soon as this jump goes down here in a second, um, notice how this bottom golem will reroute immediately, which is very important. Um, because although these defenses are triggering on him, he is moving into the core, so he's going to join the party and tank for that queen, because she's just going to be overwhelmed here in a moment. A couple swings from that Rage King, and she is down. At this point, he's coming in with a little mini surgical slash surgical uh, slash Asian wall uh, type deployment here. I thought it was very nicely done and nicely timed. The only thing I have any con... Oh, hold one thing I forgot, and I had to actually watch this a few times to see what happened down here, and I, and I missed it, um, but his golem that ended up coming into his compartment when it split into golemites, it triggered a double set of bombs. So I thought that was very nice, and I thought it was excellent timing as well. But back to the attack, I thought this uh, heal over here was pretty much useless. Uh, he could have put it a little bit more inside, and his hogs would have got more of a benefit from it, but because those golems were in the middle, it didn't even matter. Those hogs weren't even being targeted, so take it with a grain of salt. Still has an extra heal in the bag, so, you know, I'm going to speed this up because I need to get back to my uh, clan for war. But as you can see, very nicely planned. And the, the surgical around the base, even though he came in with the Asian wall up top, he smartly noticed that they were going to travel through the middle and then out back to the side. So uh, very nice attack, Oki. Keep it up. And that is going to do it for this war recap. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I am very excited to keep bringing you these type videos for 2.0 and Invicta because, you know, we have some great attacks and I just uh, like watching them and analyzing them. So until next time, this is DRX signing off. Cheers, guys.